So today, I'm going to go buy a gun in Canada. Right, let's go. You know, if you're in Vietnam and want to know about business, actually, if you're anywhere and want to know about business, you might want to check out Tom Peng. He, uh, he doesn't fuck around. Yeah, Tom Peng. He's A-OK. -okay. Peace. So in Canada, I have the license to possess and acquire a firearm. Uh, it's called the PAL license. Let me show you that. So the license looks like this, all right? So this is the license that gives me the right to buy or possess a firearm in Canada. So today I'm going to go to uh, a gun store called Reliable Guns. And they've been in business for many, many years, like 30, 30 years or so. And they're one of the reputable gun stores here in Vancouver. And I want to look at two different guns. The first one is the Kodiak Defense AR-180 Gen 2. Basically, it looks like an AR-15. It looks like a really cool gun. And the second gun I want to consider is the uh, Chris Vector. And if you play PUBG or you know any of the modern shooting games, video games, then then you probably have shot a, a Chris Vector. Uh, you have seen a Chris Vector at least in the video game. But today we're gonna look at a real one, and I'm gonna choose one of the two. I'm gonna buy it, and then uh, later we're gonna go to the gun range and we're gonna shoot it. So you see the way the launch your bolt, so when the gun fires, mm -hmm. it comes back and down. Yes. And that helps the recoil stay down. Oh yeah, that so, was that like means, demo thing from shot. so that means there's uh, less recoil with this gun. Correct. This yes. is the uh, this is the Chris Vector Gen 2. Yeah. And it's white. It's white. Which will help with accuracy. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Not as fast as red. Red's a little faster, but... Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Um, it looks like a really cool gun, and this is what you would recommend. If you're going to be shooting mostly indoor um, and at shorter distances, it makes way more sense than going to like a WK where you're shooting three okay. or five, five, six, um, which is more uh, of a higher velocity cartridge, better okay. for long distances. All right, and, and also less recoil, which is great for beginners. Yeah. yeah okay. And and uh, it's, it shoots nine millimeter. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, and what about the uh, the the, the cartridge, how many uh, can we fit into the cartridge? Okay, so the magazine that they Canadian that, rules, hold the, yeah. that hold the cartridges is yeah. a, a 10 round magazine. Um, they basically use a Glock handgun magazine, which allows 10 rounds in Canada. Mm -hmm. Whereas the WK is a five round magazine. Uh, yes. Our based magazine. All right. So that means less loading at the, at the at the range as well. But I think this gun makes actually more sense. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, what, what if I buy this gun today, like, what kind of other accessories would I need with it? Ooh, um, so the gun does come with a case and it does come with a lock, so you're not going to need a ton of extras. You'll want a cleaning kit. Um, for yourself, you're going to want ear protection, eye protection, uh, which is just a good idea um, whenever okay. you're shooting. Can you, can you teach me how to clean the gun and so on? Um, I'm not an expert on pulling these apart, okay. uh, but we can run through it together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, thank you. And uh, what other accessories are available for this gun? Well, there's lots. Uh, you can get uh, flashlight kits, you can get bipods, um, different grip assemblies to hold on. You can get a shroud that goes over top of your barrel to allow you to extend your hand forward on it. Yeah. Um, you can put optics on it if you want, red dots, um, scopes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can change your buttstock to a different buttstock if you so desire, but most people do yeah. that one so, to a very so, effective buttstock. So I, I, I've seen in the reviews that uh, that this tr this this uh, magazine release magazine button. release button is easily oh, triggered, so it might be a good idea to get a. Uh, a lot of people do put a bite uh, sorry, a front oh, hand grip on, yes. um, so that they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you think about that? Is that a good idea? It'll depend on your holding style and how okay. you like to grip the gun. We'd have to see you holding it a couple times okay. to, to make it a good assessment. All right. Do you have the um, accessory to add a side, side rails? Most likely, I'll have to check. Okay, I will, I'll be interested in that as well. Okay. Um, what else do I need to know about this gun? Not a lot. Uh, Not they're a lot. pretty simple. Okay. Um, it's just an easy gun for, for uh, someone new into shooting to use. Um, like anything else, you've got to be careful with it. Yeah, just to uh, see. 
Yes, uh, it, it looks cool. Mm -hmm. I think that's mainly the attraction to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's cool, it's white. It looks different. Yeah, yeah. he does that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, All right, I'll check to see if I've got those accessories and I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Chris Vector 9mm, new in box. So okay. it's the Chris Vector Gen 2, semi-auto, 18.6 inch barrel, which is the legal requirement for non-restricted. Yes. 110 round magazine, and it's in the Alpine white. Awesome. So are we gonna unbox? We're gonna open it up. Awesome. So that would be the carrying case. Yeah. Carrying case they come supplied with. Mm -hmm. Looks very sturdy. It's a decent case for sure. There's just one set of And that would be my gun. That would be your new rifle. Awesome. All right. So as you can see, they come shipped with the sights reattached. Okay. Um, it has one magazine that's inserted into the mag body right now. Okay. With the chamber flag, lock. Um, looks like a cleaning kit as well, which is perfect. I didn't realize they came with that. Okay, and of course in Canada we have to keep the the, the, the gun locked at all times. At all times. Well, it's a pretty basic cleaning kit. Okay. Um, just enough to run a patch through the barrel and brush through the barrel. Okay. So you want some salt in the rest of All right. Actually, I was thinking about uh, maybe a red dot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We can yeah. certainly look for And we probably need more uh, more mags. More mags. Like two more, two more. No problem. Yeah. So <clears throat> and side rails. Uh, unfortunately, we were sold out on side rails. Okay. Uh, okay. So were you thinking the side rail here, or is there another attachment? I was thinking the handrail attachment that extends up to approximately. Here oh, I see that gives one. Gives a right? little bit extra grip. The, the WK one, that, that one. I. Uh, it's a Chris product. I can't remember what they call it. Anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, we we can get that later. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. No problem. Um, so there's a couple options for red dot systems. There's actually probably 60 options that we have in store. Uh, uh, tell me what's the best for this gun. I wouldn't know. So I rely on your expertise. There, there's a big um, price difference between some and the others, depending on whether you want uh, um, something inexpensive like Vortex in their Crossfire series. It's going to run around $200 all the way up to some of the Aimpoint and Trigicon units, which will run upwards of a thousand dollars. We'll have to look at a few and see what your eye goes along with, because not everyone can see um, the dot clearly in certain brands, because if you have any um, problems with astigmatism, uh, you'll have to look through the glass to see whether your eye picks it up or not. Can, can we test that? Mm -hmm. Certainly can. Yeah. How about you recommend something and we'll test it? I'll bring a couple three over that uh, okay. I, would, I would put with it if it was mine. Thank you. These are a few options that I would look at in red dots. Okay. Um, starting from the Holosun, this is what they call their 510C. It's a um, copy of an EOTech, which this is, this is the EOTech EXPS3. Okay. Um, they've slimmed it down a little bit uh, more for the civilian market. It's not as beefed up as the military version of the EOTech. Mm -hmm. This is the Vortex AMG UH1, which is a, a, an enclosed red dot assembly. Um, really, really good unit. Uh, fairly new in the market. It's only been out for about a year. And this is the Trigicon MRO. Um, these four units are all extremely good value for money, uh, depending on what your eye likes to look through. Okay. Um, and of course, the, the, the probably the most reputable one would be this one, the EOTech. Uh, the EOTech or the Trigicon are going to be the two highest regarded for sure, because they've okay. been around the world. Yes. Definitely. Um, the Vortex is a little newer on the market, as is the Hollow Sun. The Hollow Sun's a Chinese company, um, and Vortex is also uh, a Chinese company, but this particular unit is made in the US. Okay. And um, how can I tell which one's good for me? Basically, you have to look through it um, and okay. see what um, one gives you the crispest red dot for your eye. Okay. And that's something that's uh, going to be different for every person, depending on if they have any astigmatism or any other ID. issues with their eyes. So you'll have to look through them and see what works for you. But I'll be wearing my glasses. So. Of course, yeah. yeah. That'll help um, for sure in, with it. But even with glasses on, a lot of people will still see kind of a star shape if they have any astigmatism. Okay. Can we test natural. it? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Turn them on and you can have a look through them all. Okay. Yes. Through this direction, okay. See it, and you want to hold it. 
I can see the red dot. So it'll yeah. be a circle and a dot on the inside yes. of that kind. That's right. And you can see if it's fairly crisp or if it's looking starry to you. Uh, it's crisp. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this one is more blue. So this is just a different system. It's not an LED. It's an actual hologram that's projected onto the screen. Mm -hmm. So it tends to look a little bit like a ball of grapes. It looks, yeah, it's, it's more fuzzy. Yeah, it's pixelated yeah, so it's, almost. It's meant to be like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, I think it's this one. I think it's quite clear. It's crisp. They're a good unit. Uh, very reasonably priced. Okay. And they're a solid unit. They have very good success with those. Okay. It's this one then. Perfect, Bish. Simple. Sure. There's a couple things that you'll want to know about. One is extending your stock. To press this lever, allows you to slide it in or out or in, depending on there's a bunch of different locations that you can lock it into place. Got it. As to where it's most comfortable for you. Yes. Um, your safety is this lever here. Okay, it's on both sides of the rifle. So you can, red is fire, black is safe. Okay. And your backup sights just pop out like that. You yes. yeah. have a large diameter main bay sight, and you can clip that down to a fine sight for further distances. Understood. Okay. To fold them back down, you just pull down and fold out of the way. What about the operation for the bolt? So the bolt is retracted by pulling on this lever. It folds out to the side. Okay. I'll move this out of the way. You pull back and push this button to lock it in the open position. And what does that do? Well, that locks your bolt in the rear position so that it's now open and you can look inside to make sure okay. that the gun is so empty. So if I want to check the gun's empty, I would do that? 100%. Okay. Yep. So you will then release your magazine out of the way. Okay. Obviously, you have to make sure that there's nothing in the chamber. Yes. There's nothing in the chamber. Perfect. All right. To release the bolt, what you would normally do is once you've loaded your magazine, you insert your bolt, your magazine into the rifle. Okay. You press this button, like so. Okay. Now it's ready. Now it's loaded. Loaded, ready to go. Okay. Safety is still on. To um, get yourself ready, mm -hmm. once you are in position and you're comfortable, Release. You release the safety, and well, then and only then uh, can you even yeah. consider bringing your finger into the trigger guard. Got it. Okay. So, Always so, keep it in the same position. The same simple. What if there is a uh, what if there is a jam? What do we do? Um, so if there is a jam to open it up, you want to drop your magazine out. Obviously, mm -hmm. remove the chance of anything else getting into the system. Pull on the operating handle to release it and lock it in the open position again. Okay. So release the, so release drop, the drop the mag. Drop the magazine out. So Check the website. Pull the action back. Okay, okay. clear the to thing. Clear the round that's in there. Right. Oh, yeah. The yeah. action open. And then check to make sure nothing got stuck in your barrel. Okay, got it. Okay. And then and then uh, put the mag back then in. Then resume again. if uh, yeah. everything is clear. Then you can resume, insert, reinsert your magazine. And strip ready to go. Got it, okay. Seems, seems simple? Relatively simple. So how can I buy it? Um, so we need to do some paperwork. Um, we have to use your firearms license yes. uh, and do a little background, or sorry, uh, uh, a license check with the RCMP. We have to get a reference number okay. from them uh, that we check your PAL that it's still valid. So I have to give you my license? We need this, and then we'll need a little bit of background information that we're not gonna put online because it's only your information. Got it, yeah. okay. We'll get to that in just a moment. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. I just need to take it home. And uh, did you want us to mount this for you? the red dot for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, no problem. No problem. We can do that. It just takes a few minutes. Okay. Um, we'll get them to put it together and uh, set up here quickly so it's uh, the correct tension on the okay. okay. And also, let's say if I was buying a restricted firearm, mm -hmm. uh, what would the process be? It's quite a few more steps. So with Restricted, we have to apply for a uh, transfer of ownership from our license number to your license number. Okay. With the backlog that's currently going on on Restricted Transfers, you're probably looking at between four and six months before you'll see the transfer be approved, okay. which you would pay for the right uh, or it would have to stay here in lockup until such time as you get the transfer documentation, and then you can pick it up once that transfer is completed. Okay. Like I say, it takes four to six months. Four to six months to buy a restricted firearm, basically. Correct. Yeah. 
And this gun right here uh, that we're buying today is actually a non-restricted correct firearm. Uh, yeah. Yes. So basically, you just need to get the reference number from the RCMP. Okay. Um, with, like I say, some details from you that we won't put on here. Uh, and then we can um, get that transfer reference number. Once that's approved, you're allowed to take it at that time. Okay. So it's much easier to buy a non-restricted firearm. Yes, sir. And we hope we want that to stay that way, of course. Exactly. Uh, with uh, all the recent uh, uh, changes, proposed proposed changes to the firearm yeah, rules. Yeah. Exactly. But with the yes. non-restricted, once we get that reference number, we are required to hang on to that information for 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to do anything with it, but it has to stay in our records for that time. And the RCMP can ask for it uh, at any time, um, but it's not something that we have to disclose to them without a production order. Okay. Thank you. That was, that was helpful. Good, good, good. Perfect. So I just bought a gun. A Chris Vector Gen 2 from Reliable Guns in Vancouver. Reliable Guns is a uh, reputable uh, gun store here in Vancouver. They've been in business for many, many decades. And they're actually quite famous uh, for selling guns. Um, and the store owner did not want to show their face because in Canada, there's a lot of controversy about gun ownership, especially in the last few years because the Canadian government is proposing new legislations that would make gun ownership more difficult here in Canada. So this is somewhat of a, a sensitive topic here in Canada and they didn't want to show their face, so I respect that. Uh, but I want to show you the entire process of how to buy a gun here in Canada and uh I, I love the gun that i bought today it's a chris vector gen 2 it's white it looks cool and it shoots 9 mil and uh it has very minimal recoil it's great for beginners and i'm gonna use that gun at the gun range probably in the next few days and i'm gonna show you that as well um i think i'm gonna love that gun you know it's actually not that easy to own a gun here in canada because you actually need a license right so to get this license you have to go to classes, you have to pass a test, and then you have to submit your application, and then they will actually do a background check on you to make sure that you're not crazy, you don't have mental problems, and you're not recently going through a divorce, you don't have a criminal record, that's important, they will check your criminal record. And as long as I hold this license, the Canadian government will continue to check my criminal record every single day. They do a criminal record check every single day for me as long as I hold this license. So actually people who hold this license here in Canada are going to be more law abiding. They're going to respect the law even more so because if they make any mistakes, they will lose this license and their guns, right? So uh, if you want to prove to people that you're not crazy and you have a clean criminal record, show them the gun license and that will prove it in Canada that is and you know the reason why I bought a gun is not because I want to protect myself or it's for my personal safety or you know I want to shoot somebody it's none of those reasons the reason why I want to own a gun is because I like to go down to the shooting range whether indoor or outdoor and shoot guns because it's a really fun sport you have to focus to shoot the target and that focus is actually very addictive and it's fun it's fun to do that and that's the only reason why why I'm getting a gun and uh, plus you know when you hold a gun in your hand you feel powerful you feel like like you you're a badass that's really the reason why I want to own a gun that's it and I think people should have the right to own guns as long as they're not crazy you know they're not criminals they don't have a criminal record they should be able to own a gun and here in Canada because of the rules and the systems and the process gun violence in Canada is actually very very low compared to say the United States in the United States it's very easy to get a gun and look at their gun violence rates it's actually quite high actually that's not the only factor that determines the level of gun violence I'm sure there's other social factors that contribute to the level of gun violence in the United States but I think Canada did it right by having the right rule system and process so that everybody who want to own a gun have to go through a very difficult process in order to, uh, to, to do so. And that will filter out all the people that should not own guns. 
So what's next? We're gonna go down to the gun range probably in the next few days. We're gonna shoot a few rounds and I'm gonna show you how my gun works, okay? So take some fucking action and uh, we'll go down to the gun range in a few days and don't be a fucktard.